for this week's Challenge Wednesday, we have our patient Heather. And Heather is a 45-year-old female with a past medical history of hypothyroidism. Over the past week, the therapist has noticed a regression in the patient's conditioning. The patient reports that she is not taking her Synthroid and no longer wants to continue exercise because she doesn't see the point. Which of the following is the best course of action? So we have A, request that the patient schedule an appointment with the PCP immediately. B, decrease the exercise intensity. C, educate the patient on how exercise is the most critical component of her recovery. And D, educate the patient on the importance of taking her Synthroid as prescribed and its effects on energy levels and mood. All right, so we got some work to do with this one. We got Heather, 45-year-old female, past medical history of hypothyroidism. Now, first of all, since we got the MPTE coming up, or whether you do or not, you have to understand hypothyroidism. It's one of those conditions in that other systems domain that you just have to know. We have to know what the signs and symptoms are of it, what it really means to have it, and how did this affect us as physical therapists and what we do with the patient. All right, so hypothyroidism is going to be an underfunctioning of the thyroid gland. All right, and we know that the thyroid is responsible for temperature regulation. It's responsible for a major thing that our body does, and that's metabolism, to break down substances and use those for fuel, for energy. All right, so our patient has a hypofunctioning of the thyroid gland. Okay, cool. Now, it says over the past week, the therapist has noticed a regression in the patient's conditioning, which here, this line, this sentence right here, it makes a lot of sense to me because we see that the pa the patient's already going to have problems with their endurance levels and their conditioning and their strength. That's normal. But how about this regression? Is that normal for us? We got to like slow up and really think about that because the next line says the patient reports that she's not taking her Synthroid and no longer wants to exercise because she doesn't see the point. All right. So is our patient supposed to be taking the, the Synthroid as prescribed? You bet your bottom dollar. She's supposed to be, but she's not. That is a problem. We need to do something about that. But then it adds on that the patient's no longer wanting to exercise because she doesn't see the point. So that's also important. So I, I think that we really need to take into account this sentence because we need to do something about it. Now, the final part of this says, which of the following is the best course of action? Again, we have A, which was request that the patient schedule an appointment with the PCP immediately. B, decrease the exercise intensity. C, educate the patient on how exercise is the most critical component of recovery. And D, is to educate the patient on the importance of the Synthroid and taking that as prescribed, as well as the effects on energy levels and the mood. All right, so we got to start dissecting these answer choices. First one, request that the patient schedule an appointment with the PCP. Now, here's the deal, y'all. Before we really knock this down, I, let's take a second to think about Synthroid and what the major function of that is. I mean, it's, it's really a hormone replacement. It's trying to boost the patient's thyroid activity, thyroid hormone. Uh, it, it's trying to return the body back to homeostasis. The patient needs this for their energy levels. All right, the patient needs this because when a patient is not on Synthroid, when they're not taking their hormone replacement, guess what happens? The patient becomes not willing to do many things. And that's because she's becoming apathetic, right? Her energy levels aren't there, All right? And so that's a major issue. It says here, A, request that the patient schedule an appointment with the PCP. See, I don't like that answer. And the reason why I don't like it is because, I mean, we're requesting that this patient schedule an appointment? I mean, she's already apathetic. You can tell she doesn't want to take the meds anymore. She doesn't see the point to the exercise. Like you can already tell she's apathetic. And now I'm going to request that she go on her own time and schedule an appointment with the PCP. How can I confirm that she's even going to do that? She's already apathetic. I mean, does that make sense to you all? I mean, I mean, really think about that because this type of thing is definitely something that shows up on, on the NPTE because it's a, it, it's something that of course it makes sense. We want to send them to the PCP to have them, the PCP have the discussion with the patient about the medication. But do we want to send them 
off on their own accord, hey, you just go request that appointment. You go schedule that. Hopefully it happens. No, it just doesn't make sense. I don't think it's the best course of action right now. Let's look at B. B says decrease the exercise intensity. Now, I don't really like decreasing the exercise intensity because, I mean, the patient's coming in with a regression of patient conditioning, all right? They're coming in with a regression of the conditioning. Why are we trying to decrease the exercise intensity? If anything, it's going to make it worse, all right? So we don't want to decrease the exercise intensity. There's no real reason for us to do that at this point. It's not really going to solve our major issues. C says, educate the patient on how exercise is the most critical component of recovery. Mm. Now, this is where we kind of get a little stuck. We got to slow up because is exercise not what we do? Is exercise not a critical component to her recovery? It is. But the one thing that I'm looking up at this question and seeing is that she's still not taking her meds. Like, I mean, yeah, our role is exercise and helping the patient with that, but we don't just do that. We, we service the entire patient. And so by just selecting to educate the, from the exercise component, we're leaving out one of the major pieces, which is educating them on the medication. Uh, here's another reason why I don't like C. I don't like C because even if I did educate her about how exercise is so important for her recovery and everything, since she's not taking the medication and the medication's making her apathetic and not want to do the exercise, I mean, is really educating her on the exercise going to make a big difference? To me, it's, it's not going to change anything. She's still going to be like, okay, whatever you say, Kyle, <laughs> whatever you say, I'm still going to like not want to do this exercise. All right. So I don't like C. It, it, I like the answer because I think you do want to do that, but is it the best? I don't know. Let's look at D. D says... Educate the patient on the importance of taking her Synthroid, which I like that, as prescribed in the effects on energy levels and mood. I think that is the best thing that we can do right now. Because I know once she takes the medication, I know that the effects that the medication has on her is to boost her energy levels, which is going to pull her out of this so whole apathy. All right, make her more willing to do the exercise. And also, here's the big deal, y'all. Here's the big, listen to this one. It's going to make her more willing to listen to me about what I have to say about the critical nature of doing her exercise. Exercise is important. And educating her on that exercise is important. But it's just not the first step. It's not the best step to take at this point. The final answer, baby, is D. Congratulations to those of you who freaking crushed this question you know, it's this is the type of question that tends to trip people up because is there two right answers? Yes, there is. It's just one is better than the other.